Hi guys, so tonight I'm going to be doing my Capricorns. I hope you guys are doing well. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. So I pre-pulled a lot of cards, um, some tarot, some love oracle, and some hidden truth oracle messages. I do not want this to be long, so let's get started. I feel like some of y'all are in separation with someone who was wearing a fake mask, could have been deceptive to you guys, uh, take it as a resonant, or this could have been you guys. Because this, with the deception card, someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. I think this could have been a past because some of y'all are, are already in separation from this person. But this person could have been like a soulmate, twin flame connection, 101 on the clock. Look that up, it could be resonant to the reading. The twin flame, um, this person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. Some of y'all some feel like you are drawn to this person and you don't understand why you feel so strongly and deeply connected to this person, even in y'all separation. But it could be that you guys have, you know, a soul contract. And those connections feel differently than just a regular, you know, physical relationship. Different than any connection that you've been in because it is so based you know what i'm saying because this person is, is is feeling you even though you're not with them for the ones of you who are in separation but this is a need to know that you are enough because it's time to put yourself first and this time you need to use this time as a healing um a healing time you know a self-care self-love time put yourself first loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive yes it's like the more time you give yourself and the more love you show yourself it shows to other people you know as within so without the way you treat your soul the way you treat yourself like the universe is is what you exude to others and and that's the connections and that's the type of things the universe gives you back so if you feel like you're stuck in limbo with deceptive people and you know fighting for your love like more confused than at peace then it's like you have to really really look within you know what i'm saying because it starts with us if we don't truly love ourselves and know our potential and know our strength and have faith in who we are then how can we expect others to love us? It starts with us. We're still going to be searching for stuff, searching for external things. You know, we'll never be fulfilled because you have to fill your own cup first. Yeah, this is be honest. Uh, heart to heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. And your feelings are valid. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. So, yeah, it could be just at a separation right now. And a needed is happening for you, not to you. You have to, you know, know that because you are enough. With the you are enough card, this is the person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are. You don't need to change. The person that's truly for you will not make you feel like you need to change anything about yourself because they're going to take you flaws and all. It's a need to be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. That's just what I was trying to say. If you wanted to attract true love, it's like you have to think positive. That's, it's, it all starts in your mind. You know, what we think we create. So if you want to create love, you need to think loving thoughts you know what i'm saying because you create the reality you see deepening a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months you have been waiting for this so yeah it's like the universe really creating more of a solid foundation for some of y'all in love but first it's like a need to like take this this time to really focus on yourself like self-indulgence this is Self-work, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, take this time to really love on yourself and appreciate all the things you've been through and where you are right now in this present moment because it all matters. It makes you who you are and you are strong and resilient and you need to be proud of that and continue to heal and release and forgive so that you can create more, you know, loving opportunities because you are ascending. This is transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So, yeah, the universe is like preparing you for this true love to come in. 
this soulmate opportunity, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Because right now it's like you could be in separation, but somebody is missing you, thinking about you and yearning. This is like they're unsure of their of the future. Because somebody yet yeah, is stalking and, and like watching, looking, but it's a need to like zoom, zoom out of like that. That negative mind frame zoom out of that where you consume and just negative thoughts and like uh anxiety making yourself almost like it's like you're de delaying your own progress from really staying stuck in this mindset like letting fear based thoughts like take over codependent obsession somebody could be uh dealing with some addictions possessions controlling has a block yeah it's like blocking your blessings being like in this codependent, codependent obsession, um, energy, paradise, happiness, expansion, playful oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like this is the love that's coming in for you. Because, look, you were the best thing in my life, so they know that whoever you're in separation with knows that you were the best. You are the best thing in their life. You know you were, because. We will be together again, but they hold hope for this connection. They know and they have faith that you are the one for them. I couldn't let you get close to me. So they know, you know, things they were doing could have been deceptive. And they just didn't want to uh, hurt you. The timing just wasn't right for us. So, yeah, it's like they knew. They probably pulled back their energy, which hurt. You know, you did get hurt anyway, but it's like they thought that they were doing um, they thought that they were um, trying to prevent you from getting hurt by like pulling back their energy. I can't stop thinking about you, but they are heavily, heavily thinking about you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, it's like they, they know that they messed up. They know that they messed up. And the hangman, it's like, it's a pause, surrender, letting go, perspective change. Yes, acceptance, deep insight, sacrifice changes, and releasing things. The upright position of the hangman indicates a standstill. Others may not understand the need for sacrifice, but you see things differently as you walk this path alone. This may be a time of indecision, but take time to breathe and internalize your choices before making any crucial decisions. So, yeah, you really need to think because with the chariot, it's like really movement and progress, action, it's determination. But this is like a test of your willpower. Like, you're overcoming trials and regaining control. Strength and willpower are vital to ensuring victory through the path of obstacles ahead. The key message is that you need to maintain focus to emerge successfully in this next phase. Stay the course and follow your plan with confidence. Yes, it's really about staying focused, y'all. Because with the five of swords, it's like conflict and loss, disagreements, competitive defeat. It's like stirring up the pot, um, winning at all costs, theft, bullies, abusive relationships. Um, focus on repairing the damage before it's too late because your reputation is on the line. What's more important to you, being right or isolating yourself from everyone else? So you could have been in conflict, you know, deep conflict. But this is like the three of minds. It's like preparation, progress. It's like foresight, seeing, you know, like moving forward, seeing potential expansion. Could be traveling, um, travel opportunities. But this is your plans are in motion and more opportunities are headed your way. To maximize your total potential, you have the chance to expand your horizons through travel, study, or business. Reach beyond your comfort zone. Doors will open if you stop limiting yourself. So, yes, y'all, this is really about changing your perspective. Also, with the King of Swords, this is like, it's telling you to uh, make judgment without emotion. Take inventory of all of the facts before making a decision and come to an intellectual conclusion. You want to be compassionate, but you have to think with your head rather than your heart right now. Be independent. Don't lean too heavily on anyone. Could be dealing with Aries, uh, Libra, Aquarius. This is um, 
setting boundaries though you know being direct clear minded and the king of uh swords with the queen of swords is also like real twin flame soulmate energy but the king of swords is showing that you are in command of your truth and you stand to represent i'm sorry and you stand to present yourself with confidence and conviction others respect you and pay close attention to what you have to say the appearance of this card may also suggest that you may need a mentor perhaps perhaps a financial advisor or a lawyer this is like head over heart decisions discipline truthful honest mental clarity authority leadership reliable and some sage advice with the ace of wands this is all about new project and inspiration like an urge to create uh your this is about your willpower and uh potential new beginnings new opportunities and growth but stop questioning yourself and jump right into that creative project that you've been dreaming about this card is your signal to act now even if you feel you're not ready you need action to grow opportunities are opening up for you shortly so don't let them slip by yes it's like you have to take the opportunities presented to you because with the six of swords this is like transition and moving on like a change like leaving behind releasing baggage moving to clearer waters like or after a relationship ended this is like new beginnings there's a state of transition where you've been forced out of your comfort zone or a difficult past and you're headed toward uncharted territory this move is crucial for your growth whether you're wanting it or not Take the time to reflect on any emotional baggage you may be carrying as you're moving between phases and see what you may be able to leave behind because this is growth and you don't want to take any of that negative baggage to this new opportunity and this new and abundant life that is waiting for you on the other side of your, your negative thinking and, you know, these distractions that's trying to hold you hostage change your perspective you know what i'm saying because happiness expansion joy and oneness is on the other side of all this take some time for yourself pray meditate whatever it is call in your protection ask for guidance and your next steps before you just you know move on impulse and y'all will be good capricorns until next time i hope this helps